So have you ever seen people selling templates on Etsy or different digital product websites where they make money by doing that and selling? Well, that's kind of what I'm going to show you today. People are using Canva to create printables and templates that people can use whether it's for printing or whether it's for social media. There are so many different types of templates you can make in Canva. And I'm going to be doing an entire Canva for beginners tutorial, but if you already know a little bit about Canva, this is what you're seeing when you first come in. You can pick, you know, from your logo to booklet to journal to dream lab doc whiteboard social media you can pick all of those different options right and you can go straight over here to the home projects template right this is my unpaid account i do have the the canva pro i pay a yearly like a hundred dollars a year for canva pro and i have to just say it is so worth it um but i'm going to show you my free account just because i know a lot of you don't want to make that initial investment and I get zero kickback. I'm not affiliated necessarily with Canva. I think if you sign up, I do have a link where I can get Canva credits, but just full disclosure, I don't, it doesn't really do anything for me because I already pay. So I pay out of, the po out of pocket. But in any event, you can go to templates here and you can look at all different kinds of templates. You look for documents, whiteboards, presentations, right? You can even do a search. If you're a teacher, you can make teaching templates. If you do print products, you can do print product templates and so much more. So I'm going to go over to print products and I'm going to start looking for, I want to say I want to look for um, a certain type. I can go over here. I am in the business of making books. I have an entire book biz tutorial, which I do use a lot of the planner templates for. So I'm going to go to planner and I just want to show you all of these templates that are here for free. There are ones that say pro and those you do have to have your pro member for, right? And they're worth every penny. If you do want to use them in, if you want to use them and make money off of them, you do have to kind of customize them a bit, maybe change some colors, change some fonts, because that is part of Canva's, you know, terms of service, but they have so many great planners. Let's just go to this beige one right here and let's take a look at it. It's a free template. You'll see here, you can print it after you're done with it, make it for yourself. Why pay for it? I I, I know. I, I think the same thing. Like, why would I go to Etsy and pay for a template when I can just make it on, on Canva? Well, there's an audience of people out there that don't want to do this. If you are like me and you're frugal and you want to do things on your own, go ahead and do that, right? But if you don't, go to Etsy and go find people who are selling these or start selling them yourself. Okay, so now we're in the template. We have design, elements, text, brand, upload, draw. You can do all of these different things. The design is going to change the actual design. It'll give you other options for a daily type planner. Remember, if you see the, the little crown, the crown means it's part of Canva Pro. So it won't be free, but you see other ones here. And I'll show you how to add additional ones if you want to kind of play around with more than one. There's also elements. So let's go to elements here. Elements are going to be like pictures, lines, uh, video, all those different things, graphics. You can add any of those and you can even search. Text is going to be your fonts. You can add a text box, change fonts, etc. Brand is for Canva Pro. If you are a Canva Pro member, you can actually, you know, develop a whole brand theme and it can start saving all of your colors. Uploads are when you want to take things from your computer. Drawing is really cool. By the way, I love the Canva PDF editor. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, I'll have to do another video on that. And I always sign documents using the draw feature. And then projects is where Canva is going to save all of your projects in your account. Yes, even if you are a free member, they save everything in their cloud, which is just amazing. Down at the bottom, you have this little scale piece. This is going to make things bigger and smaller. You can kind of see, you know, one page at a time. I like to be in this view and I also like to use this. This is the grid view. This is going to show you if you're making multiple pages like for a book, like in our book biz builder workshop, we have that so you can kind of see everything and how it lays out. Hit it again and go back. If you want to add a page, these are what, you know, these little pieces are for here. You can move this down. You can move it back up. You can hide it. You can lock it. You can duplicate it. Go ahead and duplicate it. You can delete it. <laughs> and then what you can also do is add a blank page. Love that. I'm going to add a blank page. 
going back again, I'm going to delete it and then I'll show you, add a blank page and then I'm going to go back to design and I'm going to work with a couple of different designs. I want to add this to-do list. I want to add a to-do list and I kind of want to see if I can compare and see what these look like. I'm going to go to back to my grid view. Look, I have a daily planner to-do list. Pretty cool, right? And I can sometimes, what I like to do is steal from different Canva templates. Like I really like these little dots. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to copy them and I'm going to put them in the other template because I like this to-do list template here, but I don't like the lines, these lines. I'm going to take, get rid of this and then I'm going to highlight this and replace, delete and replace. Yeah, I like these like this. Ooh, yes. Bring those down a little bit. You can group and ungroup accordingly. And you can, again, you can take and move things around and customize as you like. So if you want a little notes area, but you don't want the reminder area, you want to make your notes area bigger, do that. Make templates that you would use for yourself and sell them. And I'm telling you, you're going to find an audience of people who absolutely love your design because you put thought into it and it's something that you use. That's how we started with Freedom Family Press. Started making books for things that we already do and use. I started making all different kinds of books that people would automatically love because they are tried and true. These are things that I use on a daily basis, right? So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to change my font. I'm going to go here to the font types. And again, some fonts are definitely part of the, the Canva Pro, which is totally fine, If, but there are a lot that are free. Let's cut this down a little bit. Let's see. So I'm loving this template. If I want to put a color or a design, I can do that. I want to put like a little leaf on here, maybe make it seasonal. I can put a leaf. You can make Christmas planners, Christmas templates, fall templates and whatnot. I do want to show you these are Canva Pro. And what that means is if you do not, if you do not use free items, you can pay per per water, you know, you can pay per, per, per image and remove the watermark with Canva credits. You can get Canva credits by referring friends and family. But if you don't want to do that, go ahead and just take a look and see what there is for free. Like this is for free. You can go ahead and do that. Right. And then until I'm ready to pay for Canva Pro, there's a ton of things I can do that do not require me to pay. So that is my planner. And again, I could put this on Etsy. I could put this on Big Cartel. If you don't know where to sell digital products, just do a quick search. I do recommend Etsy and I recommend Big Cartel. I've used both of them to sell products. And what you do in order to sell them is you hit the share button, you hit download, and then depending on which page, again, I have multiple pages, so I'm going to put this into a PDF standard. Just want to note it that PDF standard is best for documents and emailing. PDF print is best for printing. I'm going to go that way. And then I'm going to also remove all the pages and only print or export page two. Go ahead and do that. Download. And now I have a PDF. And that's how I'm going to sell it. I'm going to upload the PDF to my e-commerce website and make money that way. So that's one way to make money selling Canva templates. But there are so many other ways if you want more videos on maybe social media templates or other types of templates, let me know and I'm happy to help. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one.